Hello and welcome to Let's Flix and Chill. I'm your host, Stuart, and today we will be watching American Poltergeist. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. It's only a minute and 18... Sorry, not a minute. I wish it was only a minute. It's only an hour and 18 minutes long, so... I or Like, right off the bat, I already know that this is going to be garbage. Nothing is this short, okay? Nothing respectable... <laughs> Is this this short? I mean, this is the the length of things that go on DVD like right away or released on YouTube these days. So we already know this isn't going to be anything good. Now, the only reason we're watching this is because I was stupid and asked on Twitter, all right, what should I watch? Do you have any, do you have any suggestions on what I should watch? And YouTuber Sammy Kablam was the first one to reply to me. And he replied this. So I guess I have to watch this. I might make this like a weekly thing. Uh, if you go on my Twitter, whether it be my Twitter, it's Stuart the Sock, or the Let's Flix and Chill Twitter, whatever. Anyone, maybe I will do a thing where, hey, Who's the first one to reply a movie to me? I'll do commentary, commentary, commentary for it right now. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot by saying that. But I could just cut all this out if I don't want to do it. Could just do that. All right. Anyway, kids. So today we're going to be watching this pile of shit. It's not fair for me to say that, is it? I've never seen the film. I know nothing about it. I could read the description, though. It's two sentences. Let's see what it says. Horrific visions torment Terrine? What kind of name is that? Terrine? Did I read that right? T A R Y N. Tarn? Tarn? Is it Tarn? Whatever. Why can't you just pick something easy like Samantha? Or like Rebecca? Those are fucking easy names to say. Whatever. Terrine? When she has her college pals, pals, not friends, move into the infamous old house, then her bloody hallucinations become too real. Mm, spooky, spooky, spooky. Also, there's a um, a sequel to this, so maybe it's not complete shit. They would never make a sequel to a shitty film, would they? <coughs> Sharknado. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cough. Anyway, kids, we're going to start watching this. Uh, the way how we do this is we start on Netflix at zero seconds in. So your screen is paused at zero, zero seconds in, and so is mine. And on the count of go, which is one, two, three, go, we both hit play at the same time. And uh, we start watching this garbage together. I talk all over it, ruin it for you, and we have a fun time. Won't that be neato? Yes, it will. Thank you. Thank you, audience. So yeah, let's get ready to do that now. All right, so ready? Have your have the video paused at whatever seconds in? Zero? Zero seconds in. Yeah, that's it. Have it paused. Ready? All right, so we're going to start now. One, two, three, go. Awesome. I, T, N, distribution. Amazing. This is on Netflix, so no distribution was involved. <laughs> Over the course of five days, a group of friends experienced one of the deadliest poltergeists in American history. Dude, I don't even know what a poltergeist means. After a full investigation by authorities, there were no suspects. When I think of the word poltergeist, I just think of a man in like a bed sheet chasing children. So basically an episode of Scooby-Doo. The case remains unsolved. Wow. This is their story. Amazing. I can't wait to watch the whole story based on... Crap. I love you. Why are you hanging yourself? Alright, we get the idea. You... Yes, four times. Dude, who hangs themselves like just an inch off the floor? 
I mean, you want, if you're going to hang yourself, give yourself a little bit more space than just an inch. Because if, I mean, if you're committed to hang yourself, at the last minute, if you got just an inch, you could just reach out your tippy toes and you could be like, all right, I uh, take this back. No, no, no. If you're going through the trouble of hanging yourself, make sure it's like at least a foot off the ground so you can't reach the floor. All right, I'm just going to shut up. It is Taryn. They're friends, and yet he's, like, listening to his iPhone. <laughs> what great friends. Whenever I go out with friends places, like, whenever we go on a car rides, I always make sure to put headphones in so I don't have to listen to them. And also to sit in the back seat so I don't have to look at them either. Why the fuck would I want to look at a friend? What was this filmed on? Like an iPhone? I'm not joking. Was this movie made like with iPhones? What the fuck? Yeah, the suburban house. Yep, this is it. Better take a photo of where I'm going to die. <laughs> lie? Yeah, lie. I didn't say. Why? There's nothing spooky about it at all. You're in a fucking rich people suburban neighborhood. You're wearing Hollister. There's nothing to worry about here. Your friends are in miniskirts. Come on. So I guess they're exes. But he's doing a little something something. Dude, really, look at the people in the background. They're just like examining the fucking windows and shit. Wow, yeah, this door is green. That's for sure. I love Gumby colors for doors. Michael Caine. Oh, fuck off. Brown, yeah. They're moving here? We gotta move here today. There's no time to waste, woman. Where do I put my shit? Ah, oh, damn, I thought I was gonna be rich. Better take a photo of this, too. Instagram's gonna love this. Oh, no. Spooky spooks spooks. Oh, man. She dropped their phone, bro. Spooky. Yeah, not even in question it. I don't care. I'm just gonna post it on fucking Instagram anyway. Only three people have drowned in it. Better check my reflection. Still a god, ha! <laughs> what the fuck is a foyer? <laughs> I'm so uncultured, I'm fucking swine, I'm sorry. I'm gonna assume she asked where the bathroom is. She should have just asked, where's the shitter? I got a pinch of loaf. That would have been classy, right? I bet I'll just go in the closet. Never mind. The place is big enough. It won't be found for weeks. Cool. We get to watch her pass. Amazing. Or how far into this? Dude, piss does not sound like that. Six minutes in. Cut 
Can I pass and pace, please? Why? The door didn't fucking open. She's rude. Why are these people here? Are they really moving in? Yeah. Day two already? Oh good, the same stock footage as before. Fantastic. Oh, they, don't, they drive without license plates too. That's cool. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to pass with that shit in my neighborhood, buddy. <clears throat> Mom, shut up. Dude, does this guy change his clothes? What the fuck? Is he wearing the same thing or was it just that he wears plaid every day? You know, if you're trying to make a film and need to avoid putting in the license plate, don't add the shots where the license plate is clearly visible and it's going to be noticed that it's not there. What the hell is she doing? I'm just going to steal this. She won't notice. I really got to have this. I need it. Also, where the fuck did these guys come from? Like... This is day two. Why are they back here? Are they really moving in like right now? They weren't fucking around when they said we need to move in like as soon as possible. But yet, where do they bring all this shit? Where were they staying before this? There's so many unanswered questions. I guess they are staying here. But why? There's like, like, there's so many questions. This doesn't even make fucking sense. Why are they staying here? Dude, she's pissing. Leave her alone. I'm impatient about my girlfriend in the bathroom. Is that cool? Because Diana promised not to piss without me. This box belongs in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a license plate. They didn't bother to take that out. Creep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that seemed very necessary. Cool, I'm glad we get to see him unpack. Dude, he does not look like the kind of guy that has a bunch of old ass books. And are Dickies still relevant? He's wearing Dickies. I mean, don't get me wrong, I fucking love Dickies. I still wear Dickies too, but I thought I was alone. That's the first thing you put up, really? All right. I would have put up a Gaga poster or something, but you know, to each their own, I guess. <laughs> Tough shit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I just really love that song. Here's what I stole. I'm going to barely put it out of your sight. Dude, really? Okay, okay, okay. She has a bunch of old books too. This is what these young kids bring. Dude, I'm pretty young too, 
But I haven't even touched a book in like three years. No joke. These kids are not going to have old ass books on them. Okay. Especially if they're traveling in groups. These kids are together to get fucked up. Not to read, <laughs> read old books. Or maybe this is like a book club that's traveling. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore that and eat my salad. <laughs> Seems natural. Church. Cool. I'm going to just fucking suck your neck at the table. Don't fucking touch me. Oh, a sister. Okay. All right. All right. It's not as fucked up then, I guess. Oh, my God. They actually did meet in church. We met at a pop punk concert. Okay, old houses don't make fucking deep ass noises like that. Come on. The first plane smashing into the Twin Towers didn't sound that fucking loud, okay? So are they living here or not? I mean, they explained nothing. I don't understand any women. Oh, look at that. The big book on top of little books. Come on. You're just trying to kill people with OCD here. So is this day three or is this night? What is this? Oh, the ghost waited until she said come in. That's kind of her. Are they sharing a bed? All right, we've been watching this for, let's see, 15 minutes now exactly. And we have absolutely no character personality whatsoever in the whole thing. I haven't gathered anything from anyone's personality at all. Besides that one guy is still into pop punk and will not let go of the past. Is he sharing a bed with his friend? Dude, I would fucking scream if I saw my friend in my room with a fucking knife. Why is this on Netflix? Why is this here? This is trash. Does this mean I could get a movie on Netflix? God, I should put some of my videos together and just put it on Netflix. I feel bad for calling this crap because, like, someone spent a lot of time on this. I understand that. 
But this isn't like even this is bad, but this isn't like the room level kind of bad, you know? Like it's not enjoyable bad. This is just bad. It's like so fucking amateur. It's like someone explained what a horror movie is to somebody else. <laughs> and then they made a horror movie. Like they've never seen a horror movie. They're gone now. Gonna get axed, bitch. Yeah, she looks great. It's like hardcore sleepwalking. I don't I don't think I ever sleepwalk, but I was told by my parents a long time ago that I did once. Apparently I walked to their bedroom at like three or four in the morning and I said, Do you know the number three? I asked them that. And they were like, yes. And then I said, don't touch it. And then I went back to bed. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's that's all I know. That's like the only instance I could think of where I slept a walk. Maybe I do it every night and I just don't fucking know it. I haven't been told by anyone else that I do, though. Dude, she looks dead. She kind of looks like Lindsay Lohan there, but with black hair. I miss Lindsay. <laughs> I miss Lindsay. We'll get her back one day, guys. We'll get her back one day. I'm just going to go back to bed with this by my side. No one will question it. Who doesn't sleep with a knife near them? What the fuck kind of that camera angle is that? The back of her head? Is that what this is? Yeah, it was. Okay. She heard her jerk to that, but not all the screaming that went on downstairs. Or her getting up earlier. Day three. So they are living here now. Dude, you're in a bikini. That's, well, not a bikini, but a one piece. The point is to get wet, right? You didn't put that on thinking, hey, I won't get in the, I won't get wet. Again, day three, he's wearing the same fucking shirt. Jesus, Michael. It's a wonder anyone will fuck you. Instagram! What the fuck is that? Oh, it didn't show up on our camera, yo. Bah, 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 bah. Spooky. Why is there? Well, it's not. You just said she's been sleepwalking, so. You think that after one night. 
That was literally night one. Because day two was when they moved in. Day one is when they met the fucking house. And even I am possible of flaws. (laughs) This guy loves plaid. Wait, 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 wait. Why is he wearing a towel? His pants were dry a moment ago. Oh, I want a hamburger now. Fuck. I'm hungry. Fuck yeah. Dude, I'd rather have pizza though, to be honest. (laughs) Why is the uh, landlord lady there eating as well? I saw a lady in a mask upstairs on the balcony. I didn't look at them. I must have deleted them like an idiot. She asked one fucking question. Ooh, tensions are high. Tensions are high. Doesn't sound like one at all. Sounds boring. Let's go look at a lake. Whoop de fucking do. Dude, if she leans any more back, she'll fall over. (laughs) She reminds me of like mint flavored ice cream. Mm. Oh man, I could go get ice cream right now. Oh my god, I have some ice cream too. You kids don't want to hear me eat ice cream though. Damn it, I have to wait. So I thought I'd have to investigate. Investigate. God, can't talk. This is home. Well, I'll be on my way then. Yeah, anytime. Peace. Oh, 
Oh my god, kids, hold the phone. He... Oh, no, no, okay. For a moment, I thought he wasn't wearing plaid. He's still wearing plaid. Sounds fun. I'm hardcore religious, so, uh... Yes, religious it is. So I won't be joining. What the fuck? Is she having an aneurysm in the fucking bath? Did she hit her head on the faucet? What happened here? Oh yeah, I forgot about this whole thing. Is that the girlfriend of the the plaid guy? I don't know. If I honestly don't even recognize any of them. <laughs> Is she the girlfriend? No, no, Taryn's the sister. Sorry. Okay. Dude, he's not wearing plaid. Oh my god. Kids, call Ripley. Believe it or not, he's not in plaid. I thought I would tell you now, a day later. So she's the one that is supposedly... The chosen one. What bruises? I don't see shit on you. Plot again. I'm busy on my space. Guys, I miss my space. Holy shit. They do. Kind of. I mean, it's probably just clumsy. Stupid Scott. And some chicken nuggets. The ones that look like dinosaurs. I love those. What's she looking at? She gonna be a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky snake. What's she doing? What's she planning? Guess what, kids? We're only half an hour in. <laughs> we still have 47 minutes to go. Ah, uh, this is painful. He likes plaid too. Yeah. 
The shop was just down the street. It was really, really quick. It was the clock. The clock played with the door. I knew it. I knew it. Dude, girls don't dress like this. What year did this come out? I don't know. I don't know when this movie came out, but girls don't dress like this anymore. And I don't think this movie's that old either. Housekeeping. Oh, shizzle. <laughs> Dude, what if it was Michael? You got a fucking knife there to greet him? I don't think Michael would appreciate that very much. She's just fine with that. Yeah, someone just tried to open the door, but that's cool. I'm just going to go back to looking at these old photos. That's fine. That makes sense. Dude, that looks like it was pasted onto the paper. These photos don't look all that all. <laughs> Yeah, because you've gone through this box already. Is that a photo of a newspaper article? What the fuck is this? I better open this as slowly as possible. Can it not? <sighs> as soon as this movie's done, I'm going to go eat a sandwich. I'm like really hungry. There's something about watching a shitty film that just, <laughs> that just hits the spot, you know? So what did she see? Did she see like the newspaper of her birth? You know, some people are in newspapers when they're born. I don't think I was fortunate enough. My my birth didn't mean anything to the world, so it wasn't documented. But, you know, some people, like if they have a weird or odd, profound birthday. What? What? What happened? Knew what? Yeah. Tell us. Why? Why can't we talk here? What's going to change upstairs? Do you have comfy chairs upstairs? Let's talk in my bedroom. The most awkward place possible to talk. Dude, this housekeeper, not housekeeper, but this homeowner. Oh, we see the lady in the background. Yeah, yeah. She's so, like, out of place at this home. This is not the home you would expect, like, a fucking 
40 to 50 age year old valley girl to live in what So it had children. This is home. What are you trying to say? You're not my mom. Why? What does it matter? Dude, tell your friends. <laughs> I'm leaving, but we're going to keep this between us. I'm not going to let my friends know. They're going to think I just freaked the fuck out and left. What about me? At least leave your gift. You still got more clothes in there. Maybe it's the clothes of the friend. I don't know. I'm sure she brought more clothes than that. Come on. Your books. You left your books. Oh, she left her books. <laughs> what a great friend. Really? So, so she's just going to leave and no one's going to say anything. Not even buy. Just be like, oh, all right, well, it was nice to have you here for two days. Yeah, that's how people would act for sure. Definitely. Good luck moving the car. There's a car in front of you. Oh, no, the car won't start after one turn of the key. She'll never get out of the suburbs now. You're not taking my fucking car. <laughs> I'm going to leave, but I'll, I'll be back by noon. I guess these won't work either. <laughs> And you know how they're going to spin this, too. They're going to make it seem like, oh, she has to stay here now. Now there's definitely no turning back. Dude, we just saw, like, two cars fucking pass and someone walk the dog. She's not stuck here. No one's questioning why she's borrowing, like, everyone's keys in the house. Yeah, look, look, she was blocked in on both sides the first time she tried to move the car. She would have been fucked. Look, some guy just went by on a bike. There's a car. She's not exactly stuck in the fucking desert, okay? She can get out quite easily. Call AAA. Talk to the cop. No. Someone fucked with our cars. 
Why would you lie to the cop? No. His suit looks too big for him. <laughs> Doesn't it look like that collar looks massive on him? I don't think collars are that big. None of them. We're stuck here forever. Dude, just call an Uber or start walking. You're in the fucking suburbs. I mean, like, a bus stop cannot be that far away. The what? The what? Sage sticks. What the fuck are those? <laughs> I'm done with this plate, so I'm going to just let it float in the pool. Don't tell me what will and won't work. Dude, okay, so that that pump, sorry, that pump, that pop punk guy, the only time they ever mention him is if it has to do with fucking religion. They showed him putting up a cross. They said he has to go to church. And they just said now he can't fuck a Jewish girl because he's Catholic. He's He's completely fucking useless. Why is there a mannequin in the background? So weed. You know my favorite cake. Dude, I wish someone would bring my favorite cake. What's your favorite cake? I really love pumpkin pie. Oh my god, pumpkin pie. Oh. <sighs> no one will bring that to a party though. Unless it's fucking Thanksgiving. <laughs> and they're going to be slaughtered? What are they going to change into? Oh my god. In the United States on Earth. God, could you fucking like <laughs> narrow it down any more for us? The universe. Like Sharon Tate. Of 
Cool. Cause you'll definitely know what she looks like. In this room. That was a million years ago. Do they look fucking ready? He was just sneaking in to try to see some ass. Thank God we're halfway done. We got half an hour left, kids. It's going to be the longest half an hour of our lives. She's just Googling away like a freak. Oh, bro, those are different types of party favors. It looked like he was cutting that with, like, fucking EBT as well. Food stamps. <laughs> This is the shittiest house music I've ever heard. I know it's not even house. It's supposed to be like trans stuff, but it's still garbage. Why don't you fucking Google it? It's the late 2000s. You all have a fucking iPhone on you. I'm going to get pissed off because you asked a question. Ugh. What a great relationship they have. Cool. I had one bit of cake and that was it for me. So you could take her car and in the morning she'll be fucked. Or that. I have to leave now and there's no possible way I can leave here. I just farted. Bet that tasted good. Ugh, I feel sick just thinking about it. Yeah, already. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. That should do it. Dude, if that's how it worked, bars would be out of business. Oh, my God. That is so horribly shopped in. Look at the cross on his neck. Oh. That looked terrible. That 
That was hardcore After Effects. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck is this? I'm going to split up. <laughs> what the fuck is that guy doing? Can something happen in this film? <sighs> Nothing has happened. No one has died. We haven't seen anything good. No one's phone sounds like that. Twenty five minutes. She's drunk as fuck. I got a piss. Open the door. Wait, then why was she knocking on the door madly before? I thought she tried opening it. I guess she was just knocking to be polite. Yeah, that was a little fucked up. <laughs> it was a little unexpected, but I mean, come on. I need something out of watching this trash for nearly an hour. So even if you kill the Jewish girl with only two lines, I guess that's something. Let me guess, the door is going to open. Oh, no. He had a sex change in there. That or they had the world's quickest sex ever. Oh, my. No, stop. Scary, please. Too much. This is garbage. Seriously, I honestly think I can make something like a million times scarier than this. This is fucking trash. Like, do you think when they were editing this video, this film together? I'm not even going to call this a film. This this video. When they were editing this video together, do you think they noticed like, wow, this is shit. I'm pretty embarrassed by this. I wonder how many movies are like that, where when they edit them together, they're like, 
oh my god this is horrible my my career is done <laughs> i can't take it back either we've put so much mo money into this i'm finished i don't know i mean that has to go through someone's mind right Bro, like i bet that happened to the guy who directed um the cat in the hat the live action one with mike meyer michael myers Oh, dude, this guy's destroyed. You see, if you're going to get killed, I think being drunk is like the best way to get killed because you're not even going to know what's happening. You're going to be so fucked up. You wouldn't even remember it in the morning. So getting killed is going to be like nothing to you. Just think you're getting really drunk and then your life's over. You won't even know you're dead. So it's kind of like a blessing in disguise, I guess. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> he seemed to say. Where does he think he's walking to? Oh, good. We're at the same little alley where the Jewish girl died. That's cool. We're already reusing <laughs> uh, murder scenes. Oh, my God. This is trash. And this movie's so short, too, but it feels so long. How could this be so long? I feel like I'm watching the Titanic twice. Oh no, how spooky. The clock's going backwards. Oh no, but the minute hand wasn't moving at all. <laughs> what trash. Break break the window. Come on. I was busy reading my Bible. What happened? Sorry, I'm just so fucking bored. <laughs> I'm drunk. Explain this. What a good father. Go out the front door. No one's tried this yet. There's a front door, guys. There's a window. Break the fucking window and leave. Call 911. You, this is 2017. When did this garbage come out? 20 something. <laughs> they have phones on them. Call 911. This blonde was like taking photos left and right for her Instagram earlier. You 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 know this, right?
I know everything about the paranormal. Even though we've seen no proof of this at all during the entire film. You go to church, you should know all this. <laughs> he brought his holy water, thank goodness for that. Quick, go get your holy water. <laughs> Dude, those bitches have been standing out there for like five minutes. Oh, yeah, now they're gone. Where are their little, like, mail things on the doors here? You see that? Look in the background. There's little mail slots. Or is that just like the same clip used twice? Yeah, you should have tried that like five hours ago. If the windows don't break, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> It's not fucking bulletproof glass. Call 911, you stupid bitch. Ugh. This film's too much for me. I hate you, Sammy Kablam. I hate you. Why are you making me watch shit? This is fucking garbage. Better get my cross. My Bible and my holy water and my, my, my Jesus throwing stars. What the fuck else do you have, buddy? The bed isn't made. It's horrifying. How scary. I'm going to tap on the door as light as possible. Dude, I think Jenna's like in her late 30s. <laughs> she's cute. Don't get me wrong. I think she's really cute. But she, she's like in her late 30s. Come on. Look at her. All right. Mid 30s. Maybe. I don't know. This whole movie's shit. I don't care anymore. Dude, they're all drunk and high off coke. How do they know they're not just like tripping balls hardcore? Oh, good. A fantastic horror movie cliche. Singing a song. Dude, Mickey is out of it. No, not the blonde. She was my waifu. <laughs> not my waifu. Mm. Oh, there goes my waifu, kids. Dude, I highly doubt all the windows in this place are bulletproof. Come on. Get your fucking phone out! Call 911. She's better off alone in the fucking attic thing. <laughs> Did you see him just grabbing for more and more Jesus shit? He's like, I got my cross, I got my Bible, I got my water. Oh man, my Jesus discs. Where the fuck did she get duct tape? What 
What the hell is this? What the fuck was that? Did he have a muscle spasm there? What, what are they doing? Who are they tackling? Why is he here? What compelled him to come here? Oh, fuck! He's just working this on a hunch? Come on. My spidey senses were tingling. Dude, if a cop walked in on this, he would just shoot the three kids. Fuck, we didn't think of that. Dude, he's not going to question this at all. Dude, kick the fucking door, you weakling, pad, plaid, stupid cunt. God, I can't even think of a name. He's supposed to know what's going on, right? So, why would... He... The basement! Oh. The fucking... <laughs> and the cop is just watching. He's like, yeah, I'll just watch this. Why is she in the blonde? Why are they... What are they doing even? Ugh! Stop making up rules as you go along. What a shitty cop. Call for help. This is fucking garbage. Who the fuck is that? <sighs> How convincing. It just looked like she dabbed her way into the pool. God, can this be over with? I really want a sandwich. Just stab her in the head. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And the cops just standing there. <laughs> Here, take this gun. Holy fuck, I was joking too. Oh my god, dude. Bro, that's not very Catholic like. Or is it? Are Catholics allowed to kill themselves? I don't know. I don't believe in any of that shit. I don't fucking study it, so. Dude, she's been holding the door all night? Fuck. Yeah. Two seconds of silence and she's duped that easily. <laughs> we locked it in the basement. Ooh. 
What the fuck? He waited till morning to shoot himself? What the fuck? He waited all goddamn morning to do it? I'm your brother. Oh no. Okay. Dude, look at him. He would have been like 10. <laughs> what is his name? Olivares? How do you even say that? What a shitty cop. No. Okay, good. Oh yeah, now it calls for backup. How much you want to bet her face is going to be covered in makeup? Let's see. No, but close enough. What fucking trash! Oh, I hate you, Sammy. Sammy, why would you make me watch such garbage? Oh, all right. So, when did this this filth come out? Let's see. Real time googling here. American. What is this crap called? Poltergeist. I don't even know how to spell this. <laughs> I'm just completely gassed. Oh, thank God that this thing autocorrects. Okay, 2015. 2015. And none of those motherfuckers had a cell phone on them. Get real, man. Get real. All right, so this this thing. <laughs> sorry, my throat made like such a horrible noise. I can't ignore that. <laughs> it was like fucking burping in your ear. I apologize. All right, so on IMDb, this thing has a 2.3 out of 10. That's that's really good, right? Yeah, it's great. Um, I think there's actually a sequel to this. I think there is. Let's look. I think there's... Oh, God, there's a second one. All right, there's one that came out in 2013. I'm going to ignore that. The Poltergeist 2 came out in 2016, two years later. Uh, let's see what score that has. I don't know. I don't know. My, I, I, I don't even feel like Googling that. <laughs> I, I can't be bothered right now. This is so bad. This is garbage. This is like worse than the room. Like the room is enjoyable because it's funny. This was just shit. It was only an hour and 18 minutes long, but it felt like I was watching the fucking Titanic or Schindler's List. It was so long. Nothing made sense. It was just garbage. Ugh. This is trash. I'm sorry. I got to I got to end the video here. I'm done. All right, kids. Um if you watched this with me, you deserve like some skittles and a stiff drink because you need some sort of a reward. But this was terrible and I uh I don't I don't want to watch the second one. Is it even on Netflix? Let's see. Let's look to see if it's on Netflix itself. 
You know, one of the, you, you know on Netflix when it shows you like uh, photos of the movie or film or whatever TV show, like it shows you little stills next to the description. It shows like like two or three. The one that it have for, sorry, the one that it has for this film isn't even in the fucking movie. It's showing that stupid bitch in the white mask with her hands on the TV, and that didn't even happen at all. In the whole fucking film. What garbage. It's just shit. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. The second one is on here. What? Okay. This doesn't make sense at all. Okay. All right. What we just watched right now is American Poltergeist. Came out 2015. Netflix has American Poltergeist 2. It says it came out 2014. What the fuck? And it looks like it, like it's showing the th- the same three little photos. It looks like it was filmed in the same fucking house. I don't know. Do you kids want me to watch this shit? I really don't want to watch this at all. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Once again, I hate Sammy Kablam for making me watch this trash fucking hate him but whatever all right kids thanks for watching i'll see you in the next episode of let's flicks and chill bye for now bye bye